to you today to share with you a little DIY boutique style picture frame. I know all of us have seen these little wooden blank picture frames at Michaels and Walmart. They're, you can usually find these for a dollar at both places, maybe in 97 cents at Walmart. But you know, a lot of people are intimidated by these because they just don't know where to start. You know, there, there's so many options of what you could do with it. It's really a blank slate. But let me just show you how sometimes my mind works. A lot of times I love to browse Etsy and I came across this machine embroidery pattern. It's a black and white heart with some red and pink roses on there and I just love the color scheme and just thought what a pretty frame that would make. So that's what I want to do is take that and transform it to this picture frame. So what I'm going to have to do is start it tonight and finish it tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is paint my frame white and then pick back up tomorrow. But the other supplies are just very minimal. I mean, less than a dollar's worth of felt at Walmart, the green, the pink, and the red, a dollar's worth of craft paint, black and white, and then a sponge brush, a little painter's tape, and then I usually always finish my projects off with some clear spray. Now I'm going to use the gloss and you know this is a four dollar investment you could do a dozen projects with it's just something always good to have in your craft stash so when i get back to with you tomorrow i have my frame painted white and i'll be ready to start painting the black stripes all right my two coats on my frame dried well enough for me to go ahead and move on tonight now you'll see that i've got the painter's tape already striped on there now this is something you need to think about if you are going to stripe your picture frame i wanted my top stripe and my bottom stripe to be white because if i would have made those black it would have visually made my picture frame smaller and i didn't want it to be any smaller than it is and then these three pieces i just visually made them as equal as possible and i wrapped the painter's tape all around the edges now the back i'm just going to leave white and it'll be nice crisp lines i'm going to finish this out and tomorrow we'll get started on the felt flowers all right we are the second day here and i have my frame painted striped and sprayed with clear and i tell you what when you put that clear gloss on there that definitely takes it from homemade to really professional looking you can see it in my camera but let me tell you what i did by mistake just in case it does matter to you i'm just going to roll with it because it's not that big a deal to me but when i put my pinstripes on my frame going you know horizontally well when i got ready to put my stand on i realized picture frame now has vertical stripes which that's fine it'll give the same effect and i love the striped look regardless of which way the stripes are going but just wanted you to be aware to pay attention where your little dowel rod is for the way the orientation that your frame is going to stand now i need to make a couple or actually three little felt roses now if you don't want to make felt roses you could certainly just buy some little flowers to go on there and here's another little idea if you go in the sewing section at walmart or even you know other craft stores they sell really neat velvet appliques and wouldn't this be pretty on the frame too and i you know i didn't even go to the trouble of making it just an idea if you don't want to just hot glue a flower on there or make your felt ones so what i did is i found something that was four inches and three inches traced it cut it out and so my pink flower is going to be a little bit bigger than my two red ones and it all depends on how big your circle is is how big your flower is going to be i put a black dot in the center of my three circles because what that does is just gives me a visual when i start cutting my little spiral out it helps me stay oriented as to where i'm at in making the circle so i'm gonna set the camera up and i'll cut one of them just to show you how i cut it okay to start my spiral i've got visually i see where my center is i'm not going to go in straight in like that i'm going to start cutting at an angle because this little strip i'm cutting will actually be rolled up and if i were to cut it straight into it it just wouldn't roll and look like a rose when i get done but you see that i'm just using my thumb as my guide and i'm trying to keep it about a half an inch this is where i was talking about this is where my start point was if i had to box that off and i could even cut that little bit off there to give it a more spiraled look use your thumb as your guide that dot is helping me stay centered and i'm gonna go all the way around and you know how wide you make this little spiral is how tall your flower is going to be see i don't want my flower to be over about a half an inch tall once i get it rolled up but you just keep spiraling all the way till you can't go anymore and then you stop when you get to your black dot start at the my point end and just start rolling 
you'll find what rolling technique works best for you. So I've got it all rolled up and I've got this little flap here left. This is where I'm gonna put a blob of hot glue right here over the back of it. And it will keep all my little petals in place. And I just kind of pull it out and stretch it out a little bit. Just, you know, play around with it till you kind of get the flowery look you want to do. Okay, but that's my on. leaves. I just took some of my green felt freehand, some little leaves like this. I fold it over and I'm cutting two at a time. Something that looks kind of like a rose leaf. And I'm going to cut about three or four of those. Let me show you just a couple finishing touches I did to my felt roses. I hot glued a little pearl in the center of each flower. Now, if you don't have any loose beads or pearls, you know, look through your jewelry stash. You might have an old broken bracelet or something that you could cut up. And there you go, instant beads. It could be anything glittery or sparkly. It just really jazzes those little felt flowers up when you stick a little something in the center of them. Now, as far as my picture, you know, this particular brand of wood frames doesn't come with a plastic little overlay for your picture so I just gonna make one I used my little cardboard insert as my template to how big my picture needed to be this was a pretty recent picture of Brian and I this past Christmas and then I just found a piece of plastic I had that was a, a sticker package and I'm gonna cut that piece just to give my picture a little protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue my flowers and set up my picture and I'll show you my finished product. Here you go friends, this is my DIY unfinished frame idea for Valentine's. You can change the colors and the flowers for any season or special occasion. I hope you'll pick one of these inexpensive frames up and create a one of a kind for your home as well. Appreciate you watching, bye bye.